Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Here's a sneak peek of what we're going to be making today. We're going to be making this gorgeous acrylic pour. So let's jump in and get started. I'm going to be using my Artist Loft Premix Ready to Pour paints from Michaels in titanium white, old gold, and black. And this is an 11 by 14 canvas I had poured previously. We're going to be pouring over that. Here are my two cups. We're going to be doing a traveling paint kiss. I'm just layering my cups. I'm going to try to not have the same color um, in the opposing cup. So I wanted to make sure that there was different colors um, in each of my cups on the layers because when you do this technique, basically you're gonna pour your cups at a slow even pace and the paint is gonna be touching in mid air. So you don't really want the same color um, in each of the cups. You wanna make sure that it's different in each of your cups. So for this, I like to start in the bottom left corner and then just pour at a slow, even pace till I get to the top right corner. These paints are so easy to use. All you have to do is shake the bottle and they're ready to pour. I'll link them down below in the description box if you want to get some to try. Now we're going to go in and give it a tilt. And this acrylic pour that I'm pouring over already had a resin top coat on it so what i did was just sanded it down by hand a little bit and to clean the dust off with some 91 percent isopropyl alcohol and then it's good to paint pour over again so when i tilt these i just like to make sure that i get them get the paint to each of the corners and you get some really really fun lines with this technique um, I really really love lines in my acrylic pores here's how it's looking with the wet finish the old gold um, metallic is just a really really gorgeous color and some of these colors are transparent so there's a lot of depth and you can see the colors underneath it so they're just really really pretty I'm going to let this guy dry for a week and then we're going to go in and do a clear resin top coat and I'm going to show you how I got that amazing sparkle on this piece. So here we are. It's a week later. I'm using the Total Boat High Performance Slow Resin. It's a two to one ratio. So I'm actually working on a few projects at once. So I'm mixing up 18 ounces. I'm pouring in six ounces of my part B, which is the hardener here. And then, then I'm going to go in with 12 ounces of my part A, which is the epoxy. Um, like I said, I was working on quite a few projects, but if you were just going to top coat this 11 by 14 acrylic pour, I would only mix up six ounces. So you would do two ounces of your part B and four ounces of your part A. You want to make sure you measure them spot on and they're 100% equal. Now I'm going to go in and mix this for three minutes. And I like to use these silicone. Um, they're just basically kitchen tools. I get these off Amazon in like an eight pack. Um, they're really great for mixing up your resin because after your resin is mixed up the next day, um, any dried resin on your spatula, it just peels right off the next day when your resin is dry. So I mix that up for three minutes and now I'm gonna pour that mix into another cup. And this is how I mix my resin. If you do this step, you're gonna make sure that your resin is 100% mixed. I'm scraping out everything from that first cup and I'm gonna mix this up for another three minutes. And I'm gonna mix it very slowly. When you mix your resin, you wanna mix slow so you don't introduce a bunch of air bubbles. You wanna scrape the bottom of your cup, scrape the sides of your cup, and scrape off your stirring apparatus. In this case, it's my little spatula here. So I'm gonna mix that up for another three minutes. And see, I'm mixing very slowly. You don't wanna whip it up. Um, you don't wanna introduce a bunch of air bubbles in there. So after I mix this up for three minutes, it'll be good to go. And you can clean these cups out with some 91% isopropyl alcohol and paper towels and reuse them over and over. And I'll link this resin and these mixing cups down below in the description box as well. So here's my acrylic pour. I'm working over some wax paper to protect my countertop. Um, I do all my resin out in my garage. I have my canvas raised up off my table on four cups. I made sure that it was 100% level, taped the back of my canvas with duct tape, and now I just went in and added my resin to the top. 
of my canvas and now I'm taking my gloved hand and I'm smoothing that out, making sure that every single spot of this canvas has good coverage. And I like spreading out my resin with my gloved hand because you can feel where resin needs to go if there's a dry spot, if you need to add more resin. You can really feel that with your gloved hand when you go in and smooth everything out. And when you work with resin, you want to always use nitrile gloves. Nitrile gloves have general chemical resistance. So you want to make sure you wear nitrile gloves. And I am wearing a respirator. Um, I recommend that you always use a respirator when you work with resin as well. I will link the one I use um, down below in the description box. I get it off Amazon. I wanted to add a little bit more resin on this piece because I needed a little bit more in the bottom right hand corner. So I'm just going to smooth that out. Like I said, for an 11 by 14 canvas, you'd want to use about six ounces of resin, and that's going to be more than enough. You want to make sure you get the sides, get the edges, make sure that everything on your piece is nice and covered with resin. And then we're going to go in and add our glass glitter. I get the glass glitter from Laura's Art Corner. I'll link it down below along with my coupon code. It's the large crystal clear glass glitter. I am going in with my heat gun on the low to pop bubbles really quickly before I add the glass glitter. And here's the glass glitter. I actually bought a pound of this from Laura. So I have mine in a Ziploc baggie, but she sells it um, and it comes in a little container. So I just took a little mixing cup. I scooped some out of glass glitter out of that bag and I'm just sprinkling it on the piece here. This is so easy to do and don't worry if you think you're adding too much because the next day you just take a piece of wax paper, lay it out and then basically flip your painting upside down and any excess that's not adhered to the resin will come off on that wax paper and you can put it back in your container and use it next time. I'm just making sure that everything has a nice good coat of that glass glitter. Then I'm going to cover it up, let it dry for 24 hours and pull the tape off the back and show you how it turned out. And here we are 24 hours later, I got the excess glass glitter off and not much came off at all, which was nice. And I pulled the tape off and here it is. That glass glitter just gives you an amazing sparkle and you can still see, you know, the pour underneath it a hundred percent. It just gives it a really pretty sparkle and a little bit of texture and those um, colors that I use, that gold is just absolutely gorgeous and metallic. The resin really brings life back into your paints. And I also made a pink, white, and gold piece similar to this one. So make sure you subscribe to my channel so you don't miss that video that's coming up soon. I'm gonna be uploading that video next week. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If you did, leave me a like, hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and go check out a few more of my other videos. That's another great way to help me out. It really helps out my channel if you check out a few of my videos back to back. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys are all doing great and I will see you soon for another video. Bye guys.